Now ever since Booyah FC switched to three defenders in the back, we've taken a lot of losses. And I'm at the point where I'm pretty upset with losing. We used to be a team that was just cruising victory after victory, but in the last episode, if you watched, you saw we lost to Poland. I was upset about it, and I come to the conclusion, this is my choice. If we lose again and win one take one, we will go back to playing 4-1-2-1-2 like we used to when we were in our winning ways and we couldn't be beaten, we couldn't be stopped. We're going to have to go back to 4-1-2-1-2 if we lose. But right now, we're winning. We go into the first game against Poland, and we took an early lead. Then 14 minutes in, AA all by himself gets around that goalkeeper and puts it into the back of the net for the second booyah of the game in the 16th minute and it's 2-0 then in the 30th minute hey why not sweat it we've lost to poland poland's been tough to beat so i sweat a little bit yep i sweat for the third goal and we're up 3-0 i just wanted to get past poland beat them and go on and play ukraine and we get a penalty the ref awards a penalty. We're already up by three. And I say, why not put AA to the spot? Let the man shine. And he does. AA with another goal in the 49th minute. 4-0. But it wasn't over. Poland was like, wait a minute. You're not going to embarrass us. So they get one back. But that's all. Because it ends 4-1. to one, So we really did embarrass them. And we beat them. Which means we get one of their starting 11 players and we get to move on and play ukraine because this group only has two teams poland and ukraine we've beat poland now we just got to go beat ukraine that starting 11 player we got from poland i actually rejected him because my bench players were better than him and we go into the second match this episode against ukraine not like ukraine's kit the yellow and blue it looks sexy and this stadium looks even the more sexy look how beautiful that stadium looks Ukraine versus Booyah FC should be an absolute beast of a match or beast of three matches, I should say. And it starts off in the 39th minute. Our goalkeeper with an amazing save, but the ball fell right to the Ukraine player's foot. And he gets the chip over the keeper into the back of the net. A little sexy finish from him there, chipping it off the post and in. And just a few seconds later, actually a few minutes later, Sturridge with an over-the-top through pass, AA volleyed it and tied it up at one. Then in the 56th minute, AA off the Ronaldo chop, a smash from outside the box in the 57th minute, and what a sexy, sexy goal. And if that's the winner, I would be so happy with it. But guess what? It's not the winner. Because two minutes after we score, the they score. Our goalkeeper came out. He didn't even put his hands up. And then Ukraine scores again. It's disgusting, man. I can't do the three defenders anymore. And this goal is BS because actually it was pretty good defending. We get in front of the ball, but the ball bounces right back to him. And they're up 3-2. And then in the 67th minute. Look, look, look. What, what is this? What's going on? I brought the keeper out. The keeper missed the ball. Ukraine makes it 4-2. to two. And then to make it worse, 88th minute, they make it 5-2. to two. We lose again. I'm done with three defenders. We got to go to four defenders. So this is what we're going to do. First of all, we have to go play Poland again because the road got destroyed because we lost to Ukraine. We're taking a lot of losses. We're definitely going to 4-1-2-1-2. Down in the comments down below, you got to let me know a team that has a really, really good left back and I can go back and play that team and try to get them. And hopefully you pick a team that has maybe a good left back as their starter and a good left back on their reserve players. So then that way we have two chances of getting a good left back. I don't know. Let me know down below a good team to, to play with because I went to 4-1-2-1-2 and the way I did it was I played... Um, Javi Martinez at center defensive mid, and I play De Jong at left back. So I got a defensive mid playing left back, and uh, you'll see in this game coming up, he actually works out pretty well, but I want to go pick a left back up. So in the next video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go play a team three times and try to get a nice left back for Bowie FC because the three defenders, I'm done with it, completely done with it. In this game against Poland, David Villa found AA on a beautiful pass, and AA with his second finesse shot Bowie of the game. And we're up 2-0 in the 30th minute. And actually, 
Finally, Poland gets a goal in the 50th minute, but I felt comfortable defending. Although they scored there, I felt good. We were controlling the game and some beautiful play, too. Look at this. Jesus Navas to AA. Back to Jesus Navas. He gets his own rebound. And we're up 3-1. to one. It's just beautiful passing plays. I feel more comfortable with my midfield. Here I get a super lucky goal. Not sure how the defender didn't clear that. We go up 4-1. to one. I feel good like this, man. So let me know down below about the left back I should get. And check this out. I don't think that's a penalty. I think Sergio Ramos completely gets the ball. The ref gives a penalty. I was a bit upset about that. But Poland can make it 4-2. to two. Will they? They do. But it's a comfortable win. I, I felt like we've played Poland a few times now. I felt like this is the best performance we had against Poland. The player we get from them was a right mid, a 72 right mid. I rejected him. So please do me that favor. In the comments down below, let me know who I can go back and play to get a left back. Could be England, Italy, Germany, anybody we've beat before. Just let me know down below what left back you guys would like me to go and get. And we'll spend the next episode trying to get a left back. Four, gotta go back to 41212. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. A like as always, appreciate it. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. And uh, another win one, take one tomorrow. Thanks for being patient and, and getting through that tough week of no videos. Uh, not a video every day. But we should be back to a video every day now. So hopefully a win one, take one tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Booyah. Y'all take care.